Hi folks, HR Funk here. And at first, all you're going to see of me are my hands as I reach down to this box. And as you can tell by looking at the box, this is probably not something that's going to contain a brand new firearm. In fact, this is a firearm that was manufactured in 1966. And as we open it up, you will see that it has all of the original paperwork that came with it, the instruction manuals, as long as it doesn't blow away the warranty card from the manufacturer high standard as well as some other propaganda that was all part of the original packaging that back in 1966 and once we remove all this and get past the cardboard packing we will find a mint high standard sport king now this is a pistol with a special story, or at least special to me, and I'm going to pause the video for just a moment while I get the pistol out of the box, and then I'll tell you the story that goes along with it. And here the pistol is out of the box. As I mentioned a moment ago, this is a high standard Sport King that was manufactured in 1966, which was the year that I was born. Also, as I mentioned, it's a pistol that is very special to me because it was owned by one of the finest gentlemen I've ever known. In fact, he's the gentleman I was named after. His name was Howard Stewart, and he was my grandfather. In fact, he purchased this pistol to replace one, or at least to have it ready to replace one, that was essentially the exact same pistol that he purchased 20 years earlier. He bought the new pistol, he took it out, he shot a box of ammunition through it, and he put it up on the shelf so when the old pistol wore out, he would have a new one ready to take its place. Now, my grandfather was a lifelong hunter and shooter. He loved the outdoors. He loved hunting with his dogs. And he carried that old pistol all the way up as long as he could possibly hunt. He used that old pistol and never did succeed in wearing it out. That pistol rightfully is now in the possession of my brother. Shortly before my grandfather passed away, I did manage to talk him into selling me this pistol. This was something I worked on for a number of years, but I finally talked to Grandpa into selling me this pistol. And as I mentioned a few, year, or a few months uh, later, after I purchased this pistol from him, unfortunately, he did pass away. But he passed away in June, so every June, I like to get this old pistol out and run a few rounds through it to commemorate him and commemorate his life and all of the things that he passed on to me as a person, as a hunter, and as a shooter. And again, he was one of the finest gentlemen I have ever had the pleasure of knowing. I am honored to be named after him. In any regard, what I'm gonna do in a few minutes is start to shoot this. Now again, this is a pistol manufactured almost half a century ago based on a design that was even older than that. I'm gonna do just a little bit of shooting. I never shoot this pistol too much because I really don't wanna risk any parts breakage or anything like that. I get it out, I shoot a few rounds through it, I clean it, I wipe it down, and it goes back in the safe. But I thought today you folks might enjoy coming along with me while I do some shooting. I have a couple of targets back here behind me, so I'll do some shooting on there. We'll see what kind of accuracy the old girl is capable of, and just kind of put a few rounds through it and see how things go. I hope you enjoy this. Let's do some shooting. Folks, the ammunition I'm gonna start with today is Wolf Match Target. I don't remember running that through this particular pistol before, so I'm not sure where it's going to print. So I'm gonna fire a few rounds first just to get an idea of where I need to hold. Then I'll adjust my hold, then I'll really shoot it for some accuracy. So I'm gonna to get to it and have some fun. Again, hope you enjoy this. Well, it looks like it's printing just slightly to the left, but definitely not too bad. I don't think I mentioned it before. I'm shooting from 30 feet right now. So I'm gonna adjust my hold just a little bit, see if we can maybe get a couple of them into the X-ring. Misfire. 
Took me a couple of minutes to get that clear, so I'm just going to start that last five shot string over again. Well, it looks like I managed to get one of them into the X-ring that time, and I think I made it nervous with a couple of other shots. So I'm going to reload and give this another try. And let's see if the third time's a charm. Well, I managed to get one more into the X ring and one more leaked down into the nine ring, but all in all, I don't think I can complain too much with a pistol of this age. And as I said at the beginning, since it belonged to my grandfather, I'm not really too worried about it at all. I'm just having a good time shooting. Okay, folks, I'm gonna see if grandpa's old high standard is up to the 30 foot thumbtack test. Now, whether I hit it or not, I'm sure he could have, but this should be fun, let's give it a try. Okay, one more try. I just can't bring myself to stop when that thing is still sticking in there, so I'm going to try it again. Today's not going to be my day for the thumbtack. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this trip to the range with me and my grandfather's pistol. It's just a plain Jane six inch high standard sport king from the mid 1960s, but to me it's priceless. I love shooting it. Now I got to clean it, wipe it down and put it away until next June. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those below. And as always, until next time, good shooting. Bye bye.